What's happening there guys and welcome back to our channel. A sleek talking sports vehicle with a mounted scanner? Yes please. Knight Rider was a live action comic book that was one of the most exemplary programs ever. It's time to put Super Pursuit Mode to the test. On Friday evenings, we drive ourselves to the theater and sit on the sofa to watch Michael and Kit fight some terrible people. With his tremendous kicks, Michael was helped by Kit, the super intelligent and practically indestructible automobile. Here is Knight Rider 1982 cast then and now. Number 7. William Daniels Kit The 1982 Pontiac Trans Am, also known as Kit, was a highly sophisticated, super intelligent automobile that was fond of humans and exceedingly friendly, according to Daniels. Daniels' career took off when he was cast as the lead in the short-lived television series Captain Nice in 1967. In addition, he portrayed Dustin Hoffman's disapproving father in the phenomenal film The Graduate. Daniels rose to worldwide prominence in the 1980s as the acid-tongued Dr. Mark Craig in the medical drama Saint Elsewhere. He was nominated for five Emmys for the role, winning two. At the same time, he was also voicing his renowned kit for NBC. And if a program such as The Simpsons or even the Lego video game nudged him, he would provide his voice to Kit. Daniels has remained tremendously relevant in nearly every decade, with the 1990s providing him with another legendary TV role as Mr. Feeney on Boy Meets World as a role model teacher. He is now 93 years old and last appeared as Mr. Feeney in the spin-off series Girl Meets World in 2017. He has certainly taught us all a great deal. Number 6. Richard Basehart Wilton Knight The foundation for law and government was founded by Wilton Knight. Knight's role not only rescued Michael's life and assisted him in reinventing himself as a crime-fighting hero, but he also gave the opening narration. This was his final playing role after a successful career in 1947. He is well known for his role as Ishmael in the 1956 film adaptation of Moby Dick. His most extensive TV role was Admiral Nelson in the sci-fi series Voyage to the Bottom of the Water, indicating that he was a major enthusiast of the sea. Bass Hard died in September 1984 at the age of 70. Number 5. Peter Perros, Reginald Cornelius III, aka RC3. For season 4, Reginald Cornelius III, or just RC3, joined the dynamic. After the incident with Juggernaut, Bonnie enlisted RC to assist rebuild Kit, and now he works as a backup for Michael Knight. Peter Perros started the entertainment industry to be the Black Arnold Schwarzenegger, and while he's no Terminator, he's had a long and successful career. After Knight Rider, he had his big break as the lead in the new Adam 12 in 1989. Then in 1997, he replaced himself in a regular TV role once more, appearing in 59 episodes of As the World Turns, a show to which he returned in 2009. Today, at the age of 61, you may see him on TV in The Haves and The Have Nots with Bo Duke's John Schneider. If you're a fan of the Duke boys, there's one more plug of our high-speed breakdown of the Dukes of Hazard. Number 4. Rebecca Holden, April Curtis Bonnie was succeeded as the mechanical engineer in charge of Kit by April Curtis. Although she was vivacious and a good stand-in, it was a relief to see Bonnie return. Holden began her illustrious career as a model, dubbed the Brett Girl. She then started scheduling one-off episodes of some great sitcoms such as Three's Company and Barney Miller, both of which we have deep dive episodes for, so watch them first. She went on to play the evil Elena on the ABC series General Hospital after her season on Knight Rider ended. She's also a fantastic vocalist. She had two singles on the charts in 1989, The Truth Doesn't Always Rhyme and License to Steal. She is now 62 years old and was last seen in the Saint by the Bell revival in 2020. Number 3. Edward Mulher, Devin Miles Devin Miles, the executive director of the Foundation for Law and Government, added gravitas and refinement to the performance, notoriously campy. Miles was renowned for being a down-to-earth, no-nonsense type of man, and Edward Mulher did an excellent job portraying him. Edward began his acting career before Knight Rider, with nine episodes of 1956's The Adventures of Robin Hood launching his career. 
He had modest film success, acting opposite Frank Sinatra in Von Rhine's Express in 1965. Mal Hare's most significant break came in the eerie sitcom Ghost and Mrs. Muir when he played the ghost captain with zeal. In 1997, he played the famed odd couple Mr. Jack Lemon and Walter Matthau in the romantic comedy Out to Sea. Mal Hare was a lifelong bachelor and was regarded as a ladies' man. He died in 1997 at the age of 74. Number 2. Patricia McPherson, Bonnie Barstow Bonnie Barstow, a key engineer at Knight Industries, was in charge of Kit's health. She was frequently seen in a white jumpsuit and she was an excellent match for Hasselhoff. Unfortunately, after season one, she was sacked and replaced with Holden, supposedly hired to provide more sex appeal. McPherson was invited back for season three and beyond because David was dissatisfied with the actress's switch. Patricia McPherson made her acting debut in 1978 but it wasn't until 1982's Knight Rider that she broke through. She went on to guest star on a few series after Knight Rider, including the primetime soap Dynasty. It's a must-watch if anyone hasn't seen it yet. She chose to leave acting in 1991 after two episodes of Andy Griffith's Matlock. She has subsequently begun a career in animal conservation, and today, at the age of 66, her activities include assisting in preserving wetlands in Southern California. Patricia, keep up the excellent work. Number 1. David Hasselhoff, Michael Knight In a frightening world, Michael Knight was an outcast, a huge brute with a sense of humor and could kick some people in the head. He was a kit operator who worked with the Foundation for Law and Government to fight crime. For this 1980s television series, David Hasselhoff became a cult hero. His acting career began in 1975 when he took over the role of Dr. Snapper Foster on The Young and the Restless for seven years. NBC then approached him for Knight Rider, which led to Hasselhoff's next pop cultural phenomenon, Baywatch. David played Ellie County lifeguard Mitch Buchanan, the main male role. Despite the considerable popularity of Baywatch, Hasselhoff always regarded Knight Rider as a once-in-a-lifetime part and more than a television program, saying, quote, It's a phenomenon. It's even more significant than Baywatch. It was an example of how one guy can genuinely make a difference. This is coming from a man who single-handedly saved Baywatch from cancellation after season one and transformed it into an 11-year worldwide phenomenon with almost a billion people watching the finale in 140 countries. Hasselhoff returned to the role of Knight Rider in the 1991 television sequel film Knight Rider 2000. The film functioned as a pilot for a planned new series. However, the project was shelved despite good ratings. Don't bother Hoff. He's well aware of his status as a cultural icon as seen by his cameos in Piranha 3DD and Dodgeball. His music career followed his TV success and he exploded in the 1980s, particularly in Germany, where he's revered as a god. His musical career, on the other hand, doesn't wander too far from parody as seen by his hilarious song Jump In My Car, another Knight Rider joke. In 2008, Hasselhoff established Hoff Space, a social networking site whose layouts highlight the actor in some fashion. However, Hoff was in deep trouble at the time because a video leaked of him eating a cheeseburger shirtless on the ground while his daughter cried at him to stop abusing booze. For the rest of us, it's a wake-up call. David is a recurring alcoholic now at the age of 69 and we wish him the best of luck. This was a show that the entire family enjoyed. Did you watch the show when it first aired in the 1980s? If so, do you recall a particularly memorable episode? What about when Hasselhoff portrayed Garth Knight, Knight's demonic doppelganger? Have you seen either spin-off TV movies or the 1998 revival attempt? Do let us know all about it in the comments section below, and we'll catch you guys later in another great video. Bye now!